Hi friends, Matt Noyce, good to be with you. One Degree Outside Weather Network, OneDegreeOutside.com, where you can find all of our videos. We've had some questions lately about what is heat index. Is it for real? Look, in any hot circumstance, your body sweats to cool, right? It's actually not the sweat that cools you down. Rather, it's the sweat evaporating off your skin, kind of like when you get out of the shower and the water evaporates off your body. That's what makes you feel a little bit chilly until you dry off or you get out of the pool, same type of thing. Well, when it's humid, that sweat doesn't evaporate so quickly off your body. And it's the evaporation of sweat that's the cooling process. So if you slow that down and the sweat clings to your body, you don't cool as quickly or as efficiently. And that's where heat index comes into play. It is to say, if you had a more normal level of humidity, it might as well be 102 degrees today in Boston or 103 in Hartford. So in other words, by raising that humidity level and slowing the evaporation of sweat off the body, that makes it as if it were more normal humidity with 106 degree temperature tomorrow in Hartford or with 103 in Boston. So again, two days in a row of this high heat index value, right? That does add stress to the body. When it's day after day, it's almost cumulative. It gets worse the day goes by. So staying hydrated, electrolyte drinks can help quite a bit. SPF 30 or greater sunscreen because sunburns can dehydrate the body. Uh, light colored loose fitting clothing uh, that's light in layers. That's a good idea. Uh, the fewer the layers, the better, right? Taking regular shade or cooling breaks is a good idea for you as well. And checking on those who need it, uh, which ranges from perhaps those who don't have air conditioning, uh, making sure you take care of the pets, things of that nature. So how much longer do we have to deal with this, right? Well, actually, you've been watching our 14-day dew point forecast. It's very promising. As we get to the second half of the week, even the upcoming weekend, next week there might be a little rise, a little spike that happens again for us. And then actually it settles down again. I mentioned yesterday in our Insights video, it's almost like the weather normalizes. It becomes more typical of what we should have this time of the year in New England, which are these cold fronts. <laughs> cold fronts. We're supposed to have fronts from time to time that change the air. Uh, that's what's normal for New England. That's what's happening in the next couple of days. The problem is with this heat and humidity today, we've got an elevated chance of severe thunderstorms, predominantly damaging wind. With this kind of energy, we'll watch for any rotation inside of the storms. And while upstate New York is probably ground zero for these, obviously that threat can bleed over into New England during the course of our afternoon evening. Again, tomorrow, you've got a chance for isolated to scattered severe weather across New England and stretch down the I-95 corridor through the mid-Atlantic. Again, all of this as we change the air. Here comes that blue line, that cold front that's marching in on the northeast so that during the course of the day tomorrow, it starts out fairly quiet. By midday, storms are developing in upstate New York and in the mountains, and by later in the day and evening, they're swinging on through. We always encourage you to use our app, especially that radar tab in past plus future mode to kind of get a gauge on where the storms are and where they're headed next. By the time we get to Thursday, there's probably going to be a link sprinkle or shower, particularly in southeast New England in the morning. It'll be a slow process to get the clouds to break up, but they will by the time we get late on Thursday. Notice by Thursday evening, you've broken up. Actually, Thursday evening is going to be lovely, and Thursday night overnight is going to be very comfortable. Friday looks very good. The weekend looks very good. There may be some clouds to try and sneak back in here on Saturday, but those clouds really, they aren't going to produce any rain by the way it looks right now. Highs tomorrow back into the 90s. We looked already together at the heat index values with that high dew point climbing back above 100 degrees. Uh, overnight Wednesday night, you begin to change the air. The cold front marches through in the overnight period so that Thursday, highs are in the 80s, and that's improvement again. Southeast New England may get a shower in the first part of the day. Uh, by Thursday night, oh, there's that comfortable. Doesn't that just, just to look at that, looks comfortable, right? Down to the 50s in a lot of northern and even parts of central New England. By Friday, temperature's so nice. The air so pleasant. Uh, we think that carries into Saturday. Highs in the 80s, a blend of sun and clouds, a nice stretch of weather that'll take you through the weekend. To get the 14-day forecast for your town or again to follow the storms, please do get our app. You can get it on the uh, App Store or on Google Play. Just search Noises, One Degree Outside Weather Network. If there are any big updates to bring you this afternoon with regard to the storms, we certainly will do that. Otherwise, you get those notifications from our app. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you at OneDegreeOutside.com.